welcome to the Red Button News. This week, moments before he was killed, Dante Wright called his mother and told her he had got pulled over. She had no idea it would be the last time she would speak with her son. The 20-year-old needed to get insurance information, his mother, Katie Wright, said. I said, okay, when the police officer comes back to the window, put him on the phone and give him all the insurance information, she said. A second goes by and I hear the police officer come back up to the window and ask Dante to get out of the car. Dante asked for what? The police officer said, I'll explain to you when you get out of the car. The mother said she could hear the police and her son struggling. The police officer asked him to hang up the phone. Kate Wright said, three or four seconds went by. I tried calling him back, back to back because I didn't know what was going on. At worst, she thought maybe he was being arrested. She soon saw his watch worse. When I called back, the girl that he had in the car answered the phone and it was on FaceTime. And she was crying and screaming and said that they shot him. And then she pointed the phone towards the driver's seat. My son was lying there, unresponsive. That was the last time I seen my son, she said, sobbing. That's the last time I heard from my son, and I've had no explanation since. Police in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, said Wright was initially pulled over Sunday afternoon for an expired tag. Body cam footage shows the officer Wright stepped out of the car and then got back in. An officer said she was going to use a taser on him. But instead of shooting a taser, Officer Kim Potter fired a handgun, screaming, Oh, explicitive, I shot, the, I shot him. As Wright was mortally wounded, Wright leaves behind a young son, Dante Wright Jr., who was supposed to see his dad to celebrate his upcoming second birthday. Now my son, he don't have a dad, said the boy's mother, Cynthia Whitaker. His dad won't get to see him for his second birthday or for any of his birthdays. And I'm just so messed up about it because I feel like they stole my son's dad from him. How do we put life back together after this? Nisha Wright made a cross-country road trip from her home in Alabama to Minnesota after learning about her nephew's death. My nephew is 20 years old. I don't care what nobody got to say about him. He was loved. Nisha Wright said, acknowledging that the strong family built by the young man's parents. This is no broken home. This is 23 years of love. But now the family has been shattered after Wright's death. Now do we put life back together after this? Nisha, Nisha Wright asked. My mother should have had to bury her grandchild. My brother and sister shouldn't have, be burying their son. I can't accept that. Mistake. The explanation that Wright was killed accidentally gives zero comfort to his family. I cannot accept that I lost my son. He's never coming back. Wright's father, Aubrey Wright, told Good Morning America on Tuesday. I can't accept that. Mistake. That doesn't even sound right. You know this officer has been on the force for 26 plus years. I can't accept that. The case is being invest investigated by an independent agency. Potter is being charged with second degree manslaughter. Kate Wright said... She would like to see justice served and her held and her her held accountable for everything she has taken from us. Back to you, Wes.